Hey guys, Coach Mike here, and this activity is called the V. Right, so if we're gonna start off with three cones. One, two, three. I'm gonna put one down in front of me. We're gonna walk one or two paces out, put the next one down, and we're gonna go and sit and do the same the other side. All right, so we're gonna do a little shape of a V. All right, so as I look at it, I've got a cone slightly to my right and a cone slightly to my left and my start cone. Right, you also need a ball. All right, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna push the ball out and bring it back to the start and control the ball. And we're gonna go both sides. So push it out here, bring it back to here. Push it out here, bring it back to here. And obviously, as you get better, you'll be able to speed that up. All right, and you can also put different combinations in there as well. And for this activity, you're gonna need two cones and a ball. All right, and it's called up and back. All right, so you're gonna need to put a cone right in front of you. Uh, right where you're standing, all right, and walk maybe two paces forward and put another one down. Fairly straightforward, all right, make sure they're on a nice line and we're going to use them as a guide. So I'm just going to come, it doesn't matter which side you go, I'm just going to come to one side of the cones, all right, and then I'm going to do a routine where I make, move the ball up towards that cone all right, and then I'm going to bring it all the way back to my start cone. All right, so if you want to do toe taps, for example, all right, you can tap the ball all the way up while you're moving, all right, you know how far you've gone and then you can come all the way back. And you can keep doing that and do it for maybe 30 seconds or 45 seconds, have a little break, and then maybe change the routine up a little bit. Be creative with how you move the ball up and back. It's entirely up to you, all right? But be creative, be imaginative, all right, and good luck.